I think this is the dynamism and as a relative long-term professor being here 15 years, I really see the Montevallo sort of special in terms of what it does for both faculty and students in terms of creating sort of long-term goals and desires and... It is the, the women. Um, the institution was founded as a, as a way to educate girls and young women um, in a rural part of Alabama in the, the 1890s, so that early history that um, sort of education, uh, the social aspect of it, that, that's what really excites me. And uh, going through um, the early days of, of campus history, whether it's the, the board minutes or scrapbooks that, that the young ladies who were students kept, and, and seeing that real, um, the real things that you can, you can touch, um, that, that they, they took. I love her. She's my alma mater, and she has grown too, and I appreciate that. And well, I'll always love it. And it came upon a headline that said Montevallo murder. And it basically was a local lawyer uh, by the name of Walter Carey, who had practiced law you know, for a number of years. Well, there was an argument and dispute basically with a younger man whose father actually was another pretty wealthy Montevallo merchant. And basically Carey was just sort of gunned down the street, not just once, but five or six times probably in the end, or at least three or four of a shotgun. And he was definitely you know, dead by the time uh, by the time the killer escaped. And eventually the killer was brought to trial and sentenced for a number of years. I'm partial to the, uh, the the Reynolds Hall Captain Reynolds story. Um, Captain Reynolds is one of my research interests, and it is the earlier days of the school.
places. I mean, just the main quad, just in terms of the size of the trees and the expanse, especially in springtime when everything's green, the sort of brown patches of grass disappear that, you know, that developed during the winter time. I really like that, just sort of, sort of the peaceful, tranquil part of campus. Built of the King House and partial to the, the, the cemetery. You know, the cemetery is telling us so much. It is uh, some of the oldest, uh, two of the oldest places in, in town. Partial to this is where it all began. professors or administrators and I'm not, I won't name any ones right now but one certainly learned about them as well that their sort of transformational role and you know, a number of professors stayed here their whole careers 40 years and you can certainly see not just students being attached to the university but faculty administrators also being tied to the school as well so I sort of need this sort of dynamic of both of them caring that much about the institution that they really became part of their lives. have an active role, um, it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's easy to get in touch with the, the history of this place um, because it's so small and because it shares such a cl close relationship with the, the town and, and community. I feel like I'm part of a larger collective memory of the university as a result of that. And top, top to bottom, from incoming freshman to the to the president, I think it was a pretty close knit uh, community and family. She's my alma mater, and she has grown too. 